if we don't bring God into their lives, I just can't imagine what hope they would have. It's one of the greatest ministries I've ever been involved in. But this is some of the most fun stuff I've ever done, and you don't have to go overseas, you know? You just go 60 miles to the prison. And it's just awesome. Sometimes uh, you can see a man that comes on the weekend on Thursday evening, and you look at this person, and come Sunday evening, he has changed so much you can't identify him. I love Kairos uh, because I enjoy the fellowship that uh, I get from all my Kairos brothers. And I also like to work inside the prison because I see what the power of forgiveness can do. I've seen miracles. I, 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 saw, I saw Hell's Angel come to Christ two years ago. The place erupted. And I was surprised because I thought it'd be just practicing Christians that would be in the room with us. They asked gang leaders to come because that's some of the power inside the prison. If they can reach them for Christ, it ripples through the yard. Well, about 12 years ago, somebody came to jail and visited me when I was in jail. And in light of Matthew 25, when it says that when you visit one of the least of these, my brother, you've done it to me. I'm one of the least. I'm just giving back a little piece of the love God has shown me. It's not really me doing it, but it's God. I think it's the coolest thing about Kairos. It's all God. Even we can't mess it up when God's in it. It's just uh, really rewarding to know you're planting the seed that, that God can, uh, can make room. When I saw a guy at closing two years ago come up on the microphone and say, I called my parents last night. I told them their prayers of 42 years have been answered that I've accepted Christ, I'm a Christian now. That got me then. But on Monday, as I'm in my yard meditating and praying, I really got the feeling his mom and dad are not having a normal Monday today. This is the prodigal son. Well, you know, it's heartfelt when you go in and you see these young kids and they tell you that they've been there for so many years already. And then they come out and they tell you how many more years they have to go. It's just amazing to think that somebody so young could have done something so bad they would deserve that but you know a lot of times you have to keep in mind that they have um, and you know, to, to be able to help them it, it's a wonderful feeling the total openness is so surprising to me of the after they learn to trust us and they will tell us things that they wouldn't tell anybody else and couldn't possibly in the system and so I'm, I'm always kind of amazed that they will say what they say, but it helps them to say it, and it gives me an opportunity to show them love in spite of what they may have done. Kairos is a program that is designed to bring hope into prison for men who have been incarcerated for many, many years. The program was started in 1975, Rayford Prison in Florida pattern after the Curcio and Trace Diaz movement. The difference, the main difference between the Kairos Prison Ministry and other ministries uh, in the country that minister specifically to uh, incarcerated individuals is one thing, and that is Kairos comes back. We always come back. Uh, every month, uh, usually around 14 visits a year, uh, each month we come back and twice a year we conduct a, conduct a weekend that lasts from Thursday evening until Sunday evening. The, um, one of the principal uh, outcomes that we hope to accomplish with the Kairos weekend is the setup of, of small groups uh, for accountability. And the uh, residents that come out of the Kairos program uh, come normally the next weekend to a training to train them to participate in these small groups so that these are the Kairos reunion uh, participants, mostly uh, Christian uh, reunion and accountability groups that are formed as a result of the Kairos weekend. And, and this is very important to them so that that experience isn't just a one-time experience, but it continues to be a, a, uh, not only a new beginning for them, but a continuation of that new beginning and accountability in a godly fashion to their brothers, their Kairos brothers.
Recidivism rate, or the return to prison rate, for most men in the state of Georgia is over 50%. But for those men who have been, who are graduates of the Kairos Prison Ministry Program, around 10% return to prison. So that's a major payoff. Uh, my first trip to Kairos was about seven years ago, and uh, just, you know, thought I was going to go in and give, but I tell you, I keep coming back because of the way God keeps changing my life by interacting with other people and, and also having the opportunity to show God's unconditional love and forgiveness to those who are incarcerated. It's one of those organizations and ministries that I think you get more out of it than you put in it. It keeps me accountable, and I've told people that uh, it makes me a better person. It definitely makes me a better Christian. It keeps me refocused and, uh, and recharged. Anybody can be a Kairos volunteer. Uh, it doesn't take anybody special. All you have to be able to do is be able to listen and have a heart that forgives. That's about the most important thing. Oh, and other than being a Christian. Uh, sometimes we consider ourselves as Christian soldiers, but it's all love, love, listen, listen, love, love. There are many, many men uh, who think they cannot or they should not have a specific ministry that they can call their own as a Christian. But I believe that Kairos is a ministry that almost anybody uh, can be a part of. Uh, all you have to do is love the Lord and love people. I think that is a, a key element and it, you have to have compassion for your, your fellow man. And Tom said, oh, you'd be a perfect candidate. I was, I'm not perfect for anything. I'm just plain old South Georgia redneck. And, uh, but he said, no, you'd be good for prison ministry. I told him, no, I don't like them doors slamming behind me. After I went home, I called Tom. I told him the next one to come, I wanted to be in it, and I've been in it ever since. Uh, I do Kairos because I believe in uh, the power of forgiveness. Uh, I think it's our duty not to judge them. I think that the Lord's judged them. Uh, I come home from a weekend in Kairos. And my wife says I got it all over me. You know, I can't explain it, but I just live for days. When you go to church, sitting in the pew, people are going, something's different, man. He's, he's, he's in it. What I enjoyed about Kairos, Kairos number one, at Smith State Prison was the love that was enjoyed throughout the weekend. The men wanted that love and accepted that love and were glad that we came. And that's what made it so meaningful to me. And I, I believe that uh, when I go in there, I'm right where God would have me to be. It, it gets the men to give forgiveness. It gets them to forgive themselves. Just about on every Kairos weekend, there is a miracle that stands out. You know, it's so fulfilling. It's unbelievable that what you can get out of this and, and what you can give. Uh, just, just the opportunity to change your life is just amazing.